Oh, my battery's dying already. Lake Ontario is looking nice as ever on this beautiful summer day. Looks like we got something interesting going on over here. Hello world, it's your Uncle Heavy. Today I'm on location in Olcott, New York. This is Kroll Park and today they're doing a sort of display concert of several band organs. Now, if, if you've seen some of my older vlogs, specifically the Herschel Carousel Museum, I kind of touched on band organs there. So there's a few here I want to maybe take a walk around and check out. I may even take a walk around Olcott, see what's going on there. So not sure what's going to happen. We'll see how the day progresses. No tickets required. Let's go see what kind of trouble I can get into. Do come along. <laughs> the back open so you could see the inner workings of it. Get a little snare drum going there. Looks like they've got animated figures. Two of them are playing a bell and one's directing the show. As you can see, we've got quite the group of people gathering around listening to the concert. I like how it's mounted in a truck like that. That's pretty cool. So, this is the back workings of it. This particular band organ was only made in 1989. So it's not antique, but it's still pretty impressive to see work. I love the snare. That bellow is just so cool. See, from where I am in the park, it looks like there's one there, one there, one there. This one's kind of close to me, so you're probably hearing the music, and I think there's another one over there, so. What else to see today? This is actually coming from North Tonawanda, New York, so it's a little bit close to home. See, now you can see with this one here, it's actually driven by a computer where the older binary paper roll used to drive these instruments. It's just part of the modernization of it. But tell me this old flywheel here isn't very cool. That's pretty awesome. You can see all the actuators here that are firing all the valves. This this is what's cool. Is I, it's not so much the instrument, it's the inner workings of it that make me so fascinated here. It's just very, very, very cool to see. Again, you have these large bellows here just going back and forth, driving everything. And the snare, which is air actuator driven. Now this one's temporarily off, which is kind of nice so I can talk in a normal volume. But that is a Wurlitzer, and that was made right in North Tonawanda. I don't think the Tom and Jerry was part of it, but... Up close you can see the, the detail of one of these. It's very cool. I gotta tell you what though, it's, it's a bit of a hot one today. and I, I usually bring a nice big bottle of water and today I forgot, so... Pro tip! When you go out on location, I always bring water. This one is enormous. Look at the size of that. So one thing I have noticed is they have all pretty much gone digital. But if you look right there, that is a perfect example of what used to drive these band organs, that, that binary sort of paper roll. But that's what would control all the actuators at one time. Very, very cool. You can see this one's titled Jungle Book, so that's probably one song in one of those books. Very cool. Now here is a good example of one being driven by the paper roll. 
you can see it's being fed in there and it's it's reading all those holes like almost like a binary computer so every time there's a hole in the paper it represents an actuator firing somewhere on the band organ so that's how it worked back then So here's another one that's actually working on a paper roll. And he was just nice enough to open up the inner working so I could see the inside. That's absolutely amazing. It's like clockwork. We even got a nice organ grinder right here. Looks like there's a couple of organ grinders we got here. How are you? So those band organs are kind of cool, but I want to take a walk around Olcott and see what's going on here. So let's go check it out. So this is a first for me. This is the Carousel Park here in Olcott. And I'm going to just kind of take a walk around and see what's going on in here. No smoking, no skateboards, park bikes, shoes required. Now this, this is a bit terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Looks like they got a couple umbrella rides here. These like, are kind of like the Herschel rides. And yeah, we did confirm this is actually a Herschel ride. And there it goes. Very, very cool. It's always amazing when I've lived somewhere as long as I have and discover something new like this. It's very cool. Got some more indoor rides here. And it looks like this is the centerpiece, the carousel. Let's go check this out. Got an older carousel here. It looks like there's a band organ right in the middle. I do love a good carousel. Although I think I'm a bit big to go on these ones. This is kind of nice right here. It says here that tickets are only 25 cents each. Wow. Yeah, this is a this is a nifty little park here in Olcott. Very cool. It's almost like the boardwalk. Yeah, I'm sorry. These clown garbage cans, th that's just that's just a nightmare right there. I'm gonna have dreams about this tonight now. Scary. Remember when I did that at Nike? Yeah, I hurt myself then too. I was hoping to get all three of these operating at once, but my timing just isn't working today. But yes, I've confirmed all three of these are Herschel rides that were manufactured right north on the line. How cool is that? Got a nice little jazz band playing here in the gazebo. Very nice. Very, very nice. There's a beautiful Malibu right there. Very nice. 68 maybe? So this here is the gift box. It looks like there's some nice little shops down this boardwalk. Let's go check it out. I do like all these nifty little shops. Very, very cool. Nice little bicycle garden right here. A little bit of a hidden treasure. And down by some of the houses here, I think some of these were used in the filming of A Quiet Place 2. I'm not positive. I'm gonna, gonna have to make that a future project because I know they did do some filming here in Old Cotton. I don't know, for some reason this house looks familiar. I'm not, not entirely sure, but more to come on that in a later time. Now this is the Olcott Lighthouse now. I mean, you know how much I dig lighthouses in on itself, but I'm pretty sure this was used in the filming of A Quiet Place too. I have to research it, but again, that's a future project, uh, spoiler alert. Yeah, that's, that's very, very cool. You can actually go up inside here. I mean, it's not much to it. There's some old pictures. 
But yeah, this is inside the lighthouse. So here's the view from just outside the lighthouse. That's quite an impressive view. Yeah. Have to point out, there's Canada across the lake. Hi Canada, actually, I got news that Canada's actually opening this August, August 8th. So maybe uh, in the future, we'll have some Canadian vlogs. Very cool, tiny lighthouse, but still very, very cool. So I'm not sure what we've got going on here. It seems to be like a staircase to nowhere. I'm not sure if this was where you used to get on a boat or something. This at one time used to be a swimming area. Lots and lots of seagulls though. Mine, mine. Here's the other angle of that pier. And I think at one time you could actually swim out there. This painting's kind of cool. It says only rain down the drain. And on top of everything, if you need your clothes washed while you're here, they even have a laundromat. That's gonna do it for this vlog. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I really enjoyed making it. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up down below, share this video, tell your friends. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other vlogs. If you like them, please consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that bell so you'll be notified of any future vlogs I put up. Until next time, signing off from Old Cotton, New York. Bye-bye.